five bags I'm currently obsessed with. With a twist. Hello, welcome or welcome back to Classics with a Quirk, where we talk about contemporary and luxury designer items and brands with a touch of silliness. If this is the kind of content you find interesting. Please do like this video and subscribe for more of it. Thank you. Hello! Alright, you're probably wondering why there is a still picture of me instead of me actually talking and doing the video. Well, here's the story. I filmed this originally as one whole video, five bags I'm obsessed with, five new, and also five pre-loved for a total of ten bags. However, the video got pretty long, so I ended up cutting it into two different parts. So I already put up my video on five bags I'm obsessed with that you can buy new, and I will link that video for you here and also below. And this video is going to be about the five bags that I'm obsessed with that you can buy pre-loved. Hope that's okay, sorry the confusion and possibly the weird editing, and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, thank you, bye! I couldn't exactly decide on five bags that I was obsessed with because that would be narrowing it down to five. So I decided to go with five bags that you can get new currently and five bags that you can only get pre-loved. So I wanted to be able to focus on both because you know me that I'm a huge pre-loved fan and there are quite a few items that I look at longingly that are only available on the pre-loved market, but there are bags that I also am interested in that are new and so I just felt that it would be prudent to talk about both camps and also that means that I could just talk about 10 bags instead of five. So, you know, there you go. Now for my five pre-loved bags, and these are again bags that you can only buy in the pre-loved market now because they are off-season or vintage or discontinued in some capacity. I'm going to start with number one, which is Chanel, and several of the bags on this list are Chanel. The first one is just one that I've been obsessed with for years, and that is specifically the Chanel Mini Square in the 16P Spring Summer from 2016 Airlines Collection in the white. And I couldn't tell you why I like this so much. I just do. I think it's beautiful. I love the, the white base with the black, red, and blue cross hatching on it. I just think it's such a gorgeous bag. I wouldn't say no to it in the classic flap either. In fact, I think between the mini square and the classic flap, price aside, I probably prefer the classic flap just because because it's white, I would prefer to wear that bag on my shoulder as opposed to long and crossbody just for color transfer reasons and for wear reasons. So I think I'd prefer to get it in the medium classic flap, but I just think that the mini square is so cute. I just I just like it so much. I like it a lot. And that's all I have to say about that bag. I just really like it and I've wanted it for ages. And I almost did buy it once actually. It was available on Rebag for not a bad price and I didn't go for it for some reasons. And I I don't know if I regret it because I can be obsessed with a bag without wanting to own the bag, like with the Delvo, for instance. So I don't, I don't know if I would own this. I, I would, I would like to, but I don't know if I mind not owning it as opposed to wanting to acquire it. You know, like I don't. Mm, yeah, I think that if I was given the chance to buy this versus buying a different bag on my list that I wanted to own more, I think I would because I think that's more just like a shelf iconic piece that I would love to have, but I don't need to have. Not that I need to have any of this, but you know what I mean. Hopefully. Anyway, moving on. The second bag on this list is also a Chanel bag, and this is the Chanel Wool Tweed Tote from 20A. And yes, this is the one that if you follow me on Instagram, I tried on and raved about. This bag is beautiful. I love it. I think it's so pretty, and I love that it's got two magnets, well technically four magnets, two on each side, so it closes. Love a tote that can close, and I just think it's gorgeous. I haven't really been inclined to tweed bags, just it's not for me. I can admire them, but I haven't wanted to own them before. This bag I wanted to buy and have. Would I use it? I don't know. It's still a tweed tote, but it's just, it's so beautiful. As I said, I tried it on. I heart-eyed it for quite some time. I think it's still currently in my boutique and I'm still like wanting it, but also I have mixed feelings about buying Chanel new from store right now. So, eh. I mean, it is technically a pre-loved only purchase because it is past season and once this bag sells from my boutique it'll be gone and you can only get it on the pre-loved market so that's why I'm counting it still as a pre-loved only purchase but I I don't know it just it's so pretty it's so pretty a lot of the bags on this list are because they're pretty and I would I would love to be the person who would use it I don't know if I would but I would love to be the type of person who used that bag because it is gorgeous and I, that's all I have to say it's pretty I like it the end the next two bags on my list are Hermes bags, and they are very specific vintage Hermes bags. I'm interested in the Hermes Sac Vasco and the Hermes Sac Godelier. And I think that's how it's pronounced, but I apologize if it's not. My French is not very good. I'm working on it. They're both beautiful, and they're both top handle only bags, which I tend to not gravitate towards, but I just like these bags so much that I'd be willing 
to use them top handle only. They also have pretty big handles, so you could like crook of the arm it, which is fine. I, I mean, if I can crook of the arm a top handle bag of this size, I'd be willing to do so. I really like them because they are both uh, usually in box calf leather. Sometimes they're in exotics, but I, I don't, I wouldn't mind an exotic, but I, I'd prefer box calf just because. And also you could travel with it. I, I don't, I don't know if I'm brave enough to try to travel with an exotic certificate aside, but anyway. I love the clasps on them. I love the, the, the intricate detail of the clasps. That's something that I think isn't talked about enough when it comes to Hermes bags, is the, the clasps and the intricacies that can come from them in vintage bags. I just think that it's really cool. And I think that the construction of them is so beautiful. I love what they look like in, in general. And I also love that these bags can be so old. Now, I know that some people don't like the fact that bags are old or they don't like vintage bags because they are old. I am the opposite. I love the ability to use a bag that's already been used and love it and give it a new life and, and use it myself. I think that is just super cool. Obviously, it helps uh, with sustainability. It's good for the environment to reuse and reduce and recycle, obviously. And also, they're so well made. These bags, like I've seen uh, sock Bascos from like the 60s. You know, I've seen uh, I've seen these bags that are that are 40, 50, 60, 70 years old, and I just think that's so neat. I would love to have a 70 year old bag that's still able to be used, and then I would use it, and I would love it, and I'd be so happy with it. And that is my story. <laughs> that is that's, that's why I like them. That's why I love vintage bags in general. Is that you have something that was made to last. You know, there was no manufactured obsolescence in these older pieces. They were made to last forever, and they can with, with, with good treatment. And I would love to be able to add one of those to my collection and use it for a long, 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 long time. And finally, the last bag on my list is probably one that you didn't expect, but it's a bag by Valentino, and it is the discontinued Glam Rock bag in the small size. And I'm specifically looking at either it in the light pink or in the black with gunmetal hardware. I, I found both of them on pre-love websites and I, I, I really like them both. I just, I think that the bag is really interesting and it's a small bag, technically a mini bag, honestly, with how big it is, but it still can fit a decent amount from what I've seen finding very, very old what fits on YouTube videos. And I, I just think it's really cool. And I like that it's edgy, but still kind of understated. You might disagree with me. You might not think that it's understated at all, but I think it kind of is, especially if you have it in like more of a muted color. And I like that the black one with the gunmetal hardware is edgy, but still like you could kind of wear it with whatever you wanted to. And I just like the pink one. That's, you know, I just, I just like them. I think that it looks best doubled up on the shoulder or worn crossbody. Some of the models I've seen wear it just long on the shoulder. It sits kind of weird because the way that the chain is threaded through the, the D-rings that hold the chain on the bag, it like lifts up in kind of a manner that I think is a little bit odd. But if it's crossbody, I like how it lays on the body and doubled up on the shoulder. I also really like it. So I found a pink one on Rebag and I found the gunmetal one on Yugi's Closet, I think. And I've just been staring at them for weeks, just just staring. I'm I'm kind of leaning towards the pink one. I really like the gunmetal one though. I really do. So I I'm not I'm not sure. Part of this list is I would get one bag over another bag, or I would choose between two. Like for instance, if I got the Chanel reissue in black with ruthenium hardware, I wouldn't also necessarily need the Valentino in black with gunmetal hardware because I think that they'd kind of serve the same purpose for me, even though they are completely different bags, styles, and shapes. They would kind of do the same thing in my wardrobe. So if I got that one, I wouldn't get another one, or if I got one, I wouldn't get the other. So that was my video on the five bags, or technically 10 bags that I'm obsessed with. I would love to hear your opinions on my choices. If there's one that's really stood out to you that you like, or one that you think that I should go for, I would love to hear your thoughts. If there's a bag that you are really obsessed with, or five that you're really obsessed with, please feel free to share in the comments down below. And if you have a YouTube channel and would like to do this tag video and have not yet been tagged, I'll tag you. I know that most people have done this already, which is why I'm not tagging people, but if you haven't been tagged, please consider this my tag for you because I would love to hear it. And if you do do this video, please feel free to link your video in the comments so I can watch it and see what you are obsessed with. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, please do give it a like. It super duper helps the algorithm and subscribe for more content that helps the algorithm even more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.